The website itself is fully set up, but it's also really important to optimize its loading speed and performance, since it affects the user experience and even the website position on Google. In this video I'll show you how to set up caching, optimize scripts and styles, as well as images and other embed media. I'll use the free Lightspeed Cache plugin, which comes packed with tons of tools and features for making your website blazing fast. To install the plugin, go to the Plugins, Add New section, and use the search bar to find the Lightspeed Cache plugin. Then click on the Install button and proceed by activating it. Once the plugin is installed, you can start setting it up. Let's start with the basic cache settings and navigate to the Lightspeed Cache Cache section. Here, I highly recommend disabling cache for locked in users. This is required for the HivePress plugin to function properly. After enabling or disabling any options, don't forget to save changes. Next, let's enable the object cache in the Object tab and check if the object cache is available at all. Check the connection test. It should be displayed as passed. If so, you can enable the object cache. This will drastically improve the website performance by caching the duplicate database queries. If the connection test is not passed, this means that your hosting provider doesn't support object cache, but it's optional so you can simply skip it. Finally, go to the Browser Cache tab and make sure that it's enabled. This will cache all the static content like styles, scripts and images in the user's browser. Now, let's optimize the styles, scripts and fonts. To do that, go to the Page Optimization section, CSS Settings tab and check CSS Minify and CSS Combine options. Enabling this will remove any white spaces and new line characters from CSS files and merge them into a single file, so the browser will send a single request instead of requesting each file separately. Next, save changes and proceed to the JavaScript settings tab. I recommend enabling the same options as for the CSS files, so the JavaScript files will also be minified and merged into a single file. Also, you can check the load JavaScript default option, so JavaScript files will be loaded in the background while the page layout and styles are being rendered by the browser. After you check this option, please make sure that the website frontend is not broken, because some scripts may require loading before the page is rendered. There are also a few optimization options related to Google Fonts loaded by the theme. Go to the CSS settings tab one more time and set the font display optimization to swap, so the fallback font will be used to display the text until a custom font is fully loaded. Also, navigate to the HTML tab and enable the load fonts asynchronously option so the font will be loaded in the background while the page is being rendered. Finally, let's set up image optimization. To do this, go to the Image Optimization section, Settings tab, and enable the Create WebP versions and Image WebP replacement options. This will generate WebP images and replace the original images on the front end. This is a modern image format that reduces the file size and rendering time by at least 30%. Also, I recommend enabling the Auto Request Cron option to generate WebP images automatically. After checking these options, go to the Image Optimization Summary tab to get the domain key and optimize images. For new users, here will be a notification to get a domain key, and once you get a domain key, the Send Optimization Request button will appear here. You'll have to click on it until the image optimization score reaches 100%. If you enabled Auto Request Cron in the previous step, you can just send the optimization request once and feather requests will be sent automatically. Also, if there are any embeds on your website like YouTube videos, Instagram posts or tweets, it's better to load the embedded content only when users scroll down to it, not during the initial page rendering. 
To enable this, go to the Page Optimization section, Media Settings tab, and turn on Lazy Load iframes option. That's it! Lightspeed cache is set up now. Let's check the page speed on Google. As you can see, we have got 93 out of 100, which means this website is pretty fast now. Also, let's check how fast pages are actually loaded and rendered. Ok. Now, this directory website is ready, and you can build the same one by following all these steps. Let's move to the final video where I would like to share with you some useful blog posts and resources.